Hi there guys, this is Richard, your host with another marvellous video. Hello and welcome to our video on Jubilee from the X-Men's Jubilee, also known as Jubilation Lee, is a mutant with the power to generate explosive plasma blasts from her hands. She was created by artist Mark Silvestri and writer Chris Claremont and made her first appearance in the comics in 1989. Jubilee has been a fan favourite character in the X-Men franchise, appearing in various animated TV series and video games, as well as live action films. In the comics, Jubilee is is often portrayed as a teenage sidekick to the X-Men, serving as a foil to the more severe and somber characters. However, she's also faced challenges and hardships as a mutant. She has grown into a strong and capable hero in her own right. In this video, we'll be discussing Jubilee's origins, powers, and role in the X-Men universe. We'll also explore the different iterations of the character across other media and delve into some of the highlights of Jubilee's journey as a superhero. So sit back and join us as we take a closer look at the dynamic and energetic mutant known as Jubilee. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's Begin! Exploring the backstory of Jubilee, the Wonder Mutant, Jubilation Lee, better known as Jubilee, had always lived a privileged and comfortable life in Beverly Hills, California. She was the daughter of wealthy Chinese-American parents and enjoyed all the luxuries that came with their status. Jubilee was a bright and energetic teenager. She was enrolled in a prestigious Beverly Hills Academy, where her gymnastic talents were found. Jubilee spent a lot of time rollerblading at the neighborhood mall with her friends, but she eventually got into trouble with mall security. Jubilee was in danger of being arrested as a minor, so she panicked and first displayed her mutant capacity to produce explosive energy. She lived a relatively normal life until her mutant powers manifested. They manifested suddenly and unexpectedly. Jubilee's powers included the ability to generate and control plasma blasts and heightened senses and agility. Initially unaware of her powers, she struggles to come to terms with them when they first manifest. Jubilee's powers were triggered by strong emotions, and she had difficulty controlling them at first. Jubilee's powers were a source of fear and confusion for her, and she initially tried to hide them and deny their existence. However, Jubilee's life changed dramatically on one fateful night. She was suddenly given the horrifying news that her parents had been involved in a severe accident with some hitmen. Jubilee wanted to help them, but it was too late. Her parents had died in the accident, leaving her with no one to turn to. Jubilee was devastated by the loss of her parents and felt utterly alone and lost. She had no other family to turn to and was left to fend for herself in a world that seemed cold and unfeeling. Following the death of her parents, Jubilee was transferred to an orphanage. Jubilee spent most of her youth in and out of foster homes and orphanages. Eventually, she escaped and hid at a mall in Hollywood. Jubilee escaped to the mall because it was her lone remaining residence. She made a living as a street performer and small-time robber by exploiting her mutant abilities to put on performances for the public. The security guards hired mutant hunters known as the M-Squad to abduct the young girl because they were fed up with her unbelievable light displays and rebellious spirit. Jubilee fought against the M-Squad's energy beams, yet she was ultimately apprehended. Fortunately for Jubilee, the X-Men Storm, Rogue, Psylocke, and Dazzler were present in the mall and came to Jubilee's aid. She watched these mysterious women for a bit, wondering what they were all about, and then she jumped into a vortex after them and followed them back to their base in Australia. Her stint with the X-Men. As a young mutant, Jubilee struggled to come to terms with her powers and her identity, often feeling isolated and misunderstood. However, she eventually found a home and a sense of belonging with the X-Men, a team of superheroes who fight for the rights and acceptance of mutants. In the comics, Jubilee initially served as a sidekick to the X-Men, providing comedic relief and a more youthful perspective to the team. She's portrayed as a plucky and energetic teenager with a love for pop culture and a sarcastic sense of humor. Jubilee is initially drawn to the X-Men because of their ability to protect mutants like herself and becomes a loyal member of the team. As stated before, Jubilee's powers are triggered by strong emotions and she has difficulty controlling them at first. However, she eventually learns to use her powers effectively and becomes a valuable member of the X-Men. She's started to covertly hide in the X-Men's mansion after trailing the trio back to their base through the mutant gateway, although the gateway was aware of her presence. As the cyborg Reavers began to take control of the base, the X-Men would flee and Jubilee would find Wolverine hanging on a cross and left to perish. Jubilee and Wolverine proceeded to Hong Kong, which is where they engaged the Hand in battle after she had restored his health. Jubilee eventually joined the reformed X-Men when they defeated the Hand. After freeing Psylocke, another ex-X-Man from the Mandarin's captivity in Madripoor, the group headed to Genosha, 
to support the fight against Cameron Hodge. They returned with Jubilee to the United States. Jubilee was able to seek retribution on the assassins after eventually discovering the reality of her parents' death. However, she refrained from killing them. Jubilee stayed with the group for a while. Despite her young age, she proved to be a valuable team member, battling Omega Red, the Brood, and Skrulls. She also had a close bond with Wolverine, reminiscent of a father-daughter connection. Jubilee made friends with Kitty Pride and Ileana Rasputina while they were guests in the X-Mansion. Jubilee stayed at Ileana's bedside non-stop when she was told she had the legacy virus. The X-Men tried everything they could to save Ileana, but they failed. Jubilee grieves her death deeply, perhaps even more so than Colossus. After Magneto forcibly withdrew the adamantium out of Wolverine's bones a few weeks later, Logan decided to quit the X-Men since he believed he was a burden to them. He left Jubilee his favorite cowboy hat and a heartfelt goodbye letter, since he understood how deeply this would upset her. Banshee was the only X-Man who noticed Jubilee was struggling to deal with Wolverine's absence and everything that had occurred with her since he departed, since the rest of the X-Men were preoccupied. Jubilee and Banshee were compelled to work together with Sabretooth and Emma Frost, who had just emerged from a coma at the mansion's healthcare facility to escape from the Phalanx after they had assimilated the majority of the X-Men. This odd team collaborated to bring together all of the Teenage Mutants Professor X had designated as potential allies. In the comics, Sabretooth is held in captivity at the X-Men's mansion by Professor X around the same time that Jubilee is living there. He hopes to rehabilitate him and help him overcome his violent tendencies. Jubilee is very wary of Sabretooth's presence at the mansion and is often on guard around him. She remembers his past attacks and threats and is concerned that he may try to harm her or the rest of the X-Men. Jubilee was afraid of him and frequently had nightmares in which he killed the X-Men before coming for her. In an effort to overcome her phobias, the young woman started bringing food for Sabretooth, who cruelly teased her. One night, when the security system for the mansion malfunctioned and Sabretooth broke out of his cage, she nearly had a nightmare come true. He stalked the X-Men all over the estate, but Jubilee ultimately defeated him with a neutralizer gun. Jubilee and Professor X have a strong bond, and Jubilee is deeply grateful for the guidance and support he has provided her as a member of the X-Men. However, their relationship is tested when Strife, a powerful mutant with a personal vendetta against him, almost murders Professor X. X. After the attack, Jubilee is devastated and feels guilty for not being able to protect Professor X. She is also worried about the future of the X-Men and is uncertain about how to move forward without him. However, Professor X reassures Jubilee and tells her that she's a valuable member of the team and that she has the potential to be a great leader. He tells her to have faith in herself and in the X-Men and always strive to do what is right. Jubilee is touched by Professor X's words and is inspired by his faith in her. She takes his advice to heart and becomes more confident and self-assured as a result. Jubilee begins to embrace her role as a leader within the X-Men and becomes more proactive and assertive. She also becomes more empathetic and understanding and is able to see the good in others, even those who may have wronged her in the past. Through their shared experiences and challenges, Jubilee and Professor X strengthen their bond and develop a deep and lasting friendship. Jubilee is grateful for the guidance and support Professor X has provided her. She is determined to honor his legacy and make him proud. She becomes a strong and capable leader within the X-Men. She is able to inspire and support support others in their journey toward becoming heroes. It becomes clearly visible that Jubilee's role in the X-Men universe evolves over time, and she becomes a more complex and well-rounded character. She's not just a sidekick, but a full-fledged member of the team, with her own strengths and weaknesses. Jubilee is a crucial player in various X-Men storylines and is often at the center of the action. She becomes a mentor to younger mutants and a leader within the X-Men, and proves to be a valuable asset to the team. Throughout her journey with the X-Men, Jubilee faces a number of challenges and hardships. She grapples with her identity as a mutant and the discrimination and persecution that comes with it and struggles to find her place in the world. Jubilee also faces personal demons, such as the loss of her parents and the isolation that comes with being a mutant. However, she finds strength in her relationships with the X-Men and becomes a strong and capable hero in her own right. Some of the memorable comic book story arcs Generation X Jubilee also has her own standalone story arc outside of the X-Men, one which takes place in the Generation X series. Jubilee is one of the main characters in the Generation X series, which ran from 1994 to 2001. Generation X is a spin-off of the X-Men series. It focuses on a group of young mutants who are training to become the next generation of X-Men at the Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. Generation X is led by Emma Frost and Banshee and is based at a school for mutants in Massachusetts. Jubilee is a member of this group and serves as one of the main protagonists of the series. Jubilee's arc in Generation X is centered around her role as a mentor and a leader. She's tasked with training and guiding the younger mutants at the Xavier Institute and is responsible for helping them develop their powers and their sense of purpose. 
Jubilee is a natural leader and is able to inspire and support her fellow mutants in their journey toward becoming heroes. In Generation X, Jubilee is depicted as a more mature and self-assured character than she was in her early appearances in the X-Men series. She has grown and evolved as a mutant and as a person and is more confident and capable than she was as a teenager. Jubilee is also more self-aware and reflective and is able to see the world from different perspectives. Jubilee's story arc in Generation X follows her journey as a young mutant as she struggles to find her place in the world and to embrace her powers and her identity. Jubilee is fiercely independent and determined and refuses to let her mutant powers or her circumstances hold her back. Throughout her journey with Generation X, Jubilee faces a number of challenges and hardships. She grapples with the isolation and discrimination of being a mutant and struggles to find her place in the world. In the Generation X series, Jubilee's discovery of her parents' killer is a significant turning point in her character arc. It serves as a catalyst for her growth and development as a mutant and as a person. Jubilee discovers that the villainous Hunter Braun is responsible for her parents' deaths when she sees him in an old photograph with her parents. She becomes suspicious and learns from one of her father's former employees that Braun had been laundering money through her father's bank and that he had killed her parents to silence them when Mr. Lee threatened to go to the police. She is deeply affected by the revelation and is consumed by a desire for revenge. Enraged, Jubilee plans and executes a solo operation to take Braun down, using all of her past experience in being stealthy, combat, gymnastics, and field training. She's able to get past Braun's security and confront him, and her powers flare to a massive level as she's consumed by rage. She comes very close to killing Braun, but ultimately decides not to take a human life, even if it is the life of a murderer. Braun is arrested and sent to prison for the murder of Jubilee's parents, and Jubilee is able to bring him to justice and achieve a measure of closure. Jubilee's actions in this storyline demonstrate her determination and her resilience, as well as her sense of justice and her desire to do what's right. She's able to overcome her anger and her desire for revenge, and instead chooses to use her powers and abilities to protect others and bring about justice. Jubilee's decision to take down the killer of her parents is a testament to her growth and maturity. It serves as a turning point in her journey toward becoming a hero. When Jubilee and her friends meet the X-Men at the mansion, Jubilee and Wolverine are temporarily reconnected. She makes the promise to never desert him again after seeing him transition into a more ferocious form as a result of losing his adamantium. Logan, though, urges her to go back to school and expresses his sincere admiration for her desire to learn how to control her abilities. She complies with his requests, but she succeeds in persuading him to give a lecture at the school. Throughout Generation X, Jubilee and Wolverine's bond deepens and strengthens as they work together and support each other through various challenges and hardships. They're there for each other during the good times and the bad and develop a close and enduring friendship. The Generation X series is also a massive benchmark for Jubilee as she faces one of the X-Men's most arch enemies, Bastion. She is captured by the leader of Operation Zero Tolerance, Bastion, a government agency that's dedicated to hunting and capturing mutants. Bastion interrogates Jubilee and tries to extract information from her about the X-Men security systems. He uses a device that is able to show Jubilee's thoughts and feelings and tries to intimidate her by showing her horrifying visions of the X-Men in trouble. During this interaction, Jubilee is briefly shown a vision of a sentinel attacking her as part of Bastion's attempt to intimidate her. However, Jubilee is able to resist Bastion's manipulation and realizes that the visions she's seeing and realizes that the visions she's seeing are not real. She taunts and laughs at Bastion, causing him to lose control of his very own mental walls and exposing his private memories to the machine. Despite being subjected to a brutal beating at the hands of Bastion, Jubilee is able to escape with the help of a prime sentinel who works for Bastion named Daria, who looks like a youthful girl. After escaping, Jubilee is roaming around in the desert when she's assaulted by a sentinel. She's severely weakened and is unable to defend herself, but is rescued by Wolverine, who senses her presence and runs a large distance to get to her. Once Jubilee is united with the X-Men once again, she aids them in destroying a sentinel plant and takes part in the battle against the Sentinels. In the comics, Jubilee meets Paladin, a mutant with energy manipulation powers and an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat. When he asks Generation X for their assistance in finding a samurai blade that the deadly rising suns are holding, Paladin also asks Jubilee out on a date to her joy and surprise. Jubilee and Paladin work together as part of a team and are able to retrieve the sword and complete the mission successfully. However, it's later revealed that the blade was used to murder Adrienne's partner and that Adrienne was the one behind the murder. This revelation significantly impacts Jubilee and serves as a turning point in her story arc. 
It forces her to confront the dark and complicated nature of the world around her and helps her to understand that not everything is as it seems. Jubilee and the other members of Generation X investigate strange abductions of troubled children and discover that the person behind these disappearances is the self-instated overseer of the House of Correction, a man named Johnston Coffin. Coffin has been cruelly disciplining and breaking the children and even turning them into terrifying cyborg assassins to enforce his agenda. Jubilee, now acting as a leader, led Generation X's attack on the House of Correction, killing Coffin's guards and slaying his special children who were unable to be stopped in any other way. Coffin is also taken down by Banshee's vocal attack. The parents and caretakers of the abducted children arrive to return them back to their homes. Jubilee's role in this mission is significant as she takes on a leadership role and helps to coordinate the attack on the House of Correction. Her bravery and determination in this mission help to further develop her character and her powers and showcases her growth and maturity as a mutant and as a hero. As soon as Generation X finished battling with the House of Correction, the school was shut down as a result of Banshee turning to booze after Moira McTaggart's death. Emma tried to elude the police who were looking into her sister's killing. Jubilee and her old partner Skin relocated to Los Angeles to explore an acting career. Sadly, she was featured in cliched Asian parts, and when her agent made an attempt to woo her, she shot him with a strong plasma blast. Los Angeles and the X-Corps In the X-Corps series, Jubilee is a member of the X-Corps, a team of mutants who work for the government and are tasked with protecting the world from threats, both external and internal. The X-Corps is headquartered in Los Angeles, and Jubilee's story arc in this series centers on her role as a member of the team and her experiences in Los Angeles. Jubilee is offered a position on the team led by Banshee, and that she joins alongside her former teammates Husk and M in order to keep an eye on him. During her time with the X-Corps, Jubilee takes on a number of essential missions and challenges, including holding off an uprising in Paris and taking down the Blob with the help of Husk and Stacey X. As a member of the X-Corps, Jubilee is called upon to use her powers and skills to defend the city and the world against various threats, including rogue mutants, supervillains, and other dangerous forces. She also plays a crucial role in rescuing Banshee from Mystique, using her powers and skills to help the team succeed in their missions. She works closely with her teammates, including her friends and fellow mutants, to protect the city and keep its citizens safe. Return to the X-Men Jubilee and Skin return to Los Angeles, but the Church of Humanity captured and crucified them along with Magma and a few other mutants in the front yard of the X-Mansion. Due to Angel's healing blood, Jubilee and Magma survived the onslaught, but Skin and the rest of the mutants did not. Jubilee grew slightly sorrowful after losing a close companion and reconnected with her pal Husk. They both went to Skin's funeral, along with Angel. Because the Grave Warden would not allow a mutant to be laid to rest in his graveyard, he had Skin burned and coldly delivered Skin's ashes to Jubilee. Jubilee later rejoins the X-Men for another brief stint, assisting them in their effort to free Nightcrawler from his dad, Azazel. Due to her sadness at losing her old teammate, Skin, Jubilee began to adopt a more rebellious character shortly after arriving at the X-Mansion. She starts sneaking out of the facility to make contact with pals at a nearby mall. Much to her chagrin, they eventually abandoned her because they discovered she was a mutant. Powerless Jubilee was one among the mutants afflicted by Scarlet Witch's world-changing wave after the House of M and lost her powers. When Sally Floyd attempted to contact the X-Men about the abrupt depowering of most mutants, Jubilee did everything she could to assist, but because she was a mutant no more, she couldn't return to the Xavier Institute and instead was campaigning as a political activist, opposing Congressman Sykes. Jubilee moved to Queens in New York and appears to be running a safe shelter for depowered mutants. When Wolverine arrives at the facility to look for Maverick, he's surprised to see his old partner, Jubilee, among the inmates. Omega Red, with his mercenaries, assault the two companions almost immediately after they're reunited. While Wolverine fights Omega Red, Jubilee and Maverick work hard to get the powerless mutants to safety. Wolverine is knocked out of the fight just for enough time for Maverick to be wounded and Omega Red to capture Jubilation. Arcady abducted Jubilee and badly harmed her as Wolverine attempted to save her. Desperate to rescue her and realizing there was only one means to do so, Logan gladly offers himself into the custody of S.H.I.E.L.D. in return for an assurance that Jubilee's life will be saved. Logan is apprehended and Jubilee is sent to a S.H.I.E.L.D. treatment center. Jubilee recovered completely, although she feared Wolverine had deserted her for a while. New Warriors Night Thrasher encouraged Jubilee to join a new edition of the New Warriors, which was mostly made up of depowered mutants. This new squad was armed with reverse-engineered gear that granted them new abilities to combat crime while violating the government's registration statute, which was enacted during the first superhero civil war. 
Her new comrades included her close friend John of Starsmore, the legendary ex-mutant Chamber, who'd likewise been depowered during M-Day. Jubilee cloaked herself as Wanderer and donned a power suit that could lift a freight train above her head. She was second in command after Night Thrasher and oversaw the team's training sessions. Jubilee had a more assertive demeanor than in previous years, most likely because of her duties as a team trainer. Wanderer and the new warriors caught countless villains such as the Grey Gargoyle, Anaconda, and the Rhino after months of hard labor, never missing an opportunity to publicly trash Tony Stark and his initiative. Their brilliant attack, however, would be ruined by their encounter with the newest Zodiac. Longstrike was slain during the combat, and Sophia was seriously injured following a surprise arrival that offered the party a chance to win. Night Thrasher resolved to dissolve the squad in the wake of the tragedy, not wanting anybody else to perish under his watch. Unwilling to lose her new family, Jubilee paid Sophia a visit at the infirmary and persuaded her to accompany her back to HQ, where she delivered a speech to boost team spirit. After hearing her statement, they agreed to stick together, whether they had Night Thrasher or not. However, he was impressed by their determination and elected to stay with the ex-mutants and coach them even harder. Night Thrasher grew more inactive during critical periods in their operations and continued to refuse to divulge his actual identity to the squad, making Jubilee skeptical of him. However, without any support from her comrades, she was forced to bring her hostilities to a halt. Jubilee attempted to meet Thrasher once more, but Jono's severe injuries incurred during the fight offered an excuse to postpone this further. This would soon shift as Jubilee realized that they'd been misled about the exact motive for their attack during their mission to knock out the machine smith. Following Jono's recuperation, the squad pursued Thrasher on one of his departures and came face to face with Counterforce. Doniel ultimately exposed his true self to both the past and present warriors during the battle's conclusion, concluding there was no other way to resolve the fight. When Skybolt and Ripcord were slain in a fight with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s task force, Doniel confessed that he had been researching on a time machine to go back in time and rescue the new warriors, thus averting the Civil War. Jubilee was irritated once more that he was concealing information from them. However, when the task force approached them and there was no way out, their only option was to leap through time and pray for the best. The machine malfunctioned, transporting the new warriors to a dystopian future in which Doniel's sibling, Dwayne, had resurfaced and carried the Registration Act to the most extreme conclusion by banishing all superpowered individuals to the nth dimension. The new warriors were hesitant to get involved, but with their only route back to the past being the time machine within the Stark building, they were forced to break in and confront Dwayne. Despite his reservations about Dwayne's authoritarian leadership, Doniel betrays the new warriors in order to reconcile with his brother. Doniel returned to his senses after Dwayne murdered and tortured Tony Stark, liberating the others and murdering his sibling in self-defense. Jubilee decided the new warriors were just too dangerous when they returned to the present, and they parted ways, glad for the time they'd shared together. I don't have any more quarters. I got it. Jubilee has cameo appearances in various X-Men movies. In the original X-Men film trilogy, Jubilee makes a cameo appearance in the first film, X-Men, where Katrina Flores portrays her. She's seen in the background of a scene at the Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. She doesn't have any lines of dialogue. Jubilee also makes a brief appearance in the film X2 X-Men United, where she's portrayed by Kia Wong. In this film, she's seen attending a class at the Xavier Institute and interacting with some of the other students. In the X-Men Days of Future Past film, Jubilee is portrayed by Lana Condor. In this film, Jubilee is a student at the Xavier Institute in the future timeline. In the X-Men Apocalypse film, Jubilee is a student at the Xavier Institute in the 1980s and is seen interacting with the other characters, including Jean Grey and Scott Summers. Jubilee does not appear in the third film in the original trilogy, X-Men The Last Stand. Jubilee doesn't appear in the Logan film or the Deadpool films either, which are also set in the X-Men film universe. She had extensive roles in the animated universe. Jubilee has appeared in various animated media, including television series and video games. Her appearances in different video games include X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Jubilee made her first appearance in the X-Men animated series, which aired from 1992 to 1997. In this series, Jubilee is voiced by Alison Court and is a recurring character throughout the series. She is portrayed as a young, energetic mutant who is learning to control her powers and to use them for the greater good. 
Jubilee becomes a member of the X-Men and works alongside the other members to protect the world from various threats. Jubilee also appears in the X-Men Evolution animated series, which aired from 2000 to 2003. In this series, Jubilee is voiced by Tara Strong and is a recurring character throughout the series. In the animated TV series, Jubilee moved to live in a foster home as a teenager. She was incapable of controlling her mutant ability to make fireworks, causing damage to various objects in her foster family's home. As a result of her actions, Jubilee's foster father summoned the mutant control department on her, once her mutant powers were revealed to her foster family, despite her foster mother's protests. However, unbeknownst to Jubilee or the foster parents, the mutant control agency had dispatched a sentinel, a massive robot meant to exterminate mutants. Overhearing their decision-making debate, Jubilee questioned herself about why she was turning into a mutant and reminisced about when she was normal, considering that it was never her mistake that she had become a mutant. She then runs away from her foster home and retreats to a mall, where she tries to hide herself away. She spent her time at the mall playing video games at the arcade. However, a sentinel had been able to locate and apprehend her. Luckily for her, the X-Men, Gambit, Rogue, and Storm were present in the mall and successfully protected Jubilee from the Sentinel. The Sentinel was just about to murder Gambit, but Jubilee saved him by firing the Sentinel with sparks from her hands. Jubilee tried to evade the Sentinel, but it tracked her down. Cyclops, on the other hand, came and obliterated the Sentinel with his optic shot. Unfortunately, even before the Sentinel was destroyed, it emitted a sleeping chemical that knocked Jubilee out. Jubilee awakened some hours later at the Xavier Mansion, unsure of where she was. Jubilee thought Wolverine was about to kill Gambit, so she set off fireworks at him. However, Jubilee quickly realized that it was all just practice and Gambit was not in any real danger. Storm then escorted Jubilee to the Xavier Mansion's roof, where she explained what mutants are and how the X-Men, a group of mutants, fought for mutant equality and rights. Jubilee returned home soon after to check on her foster parents. Two Sentinels, however, were waiting for her. Despite using her talents to fight them, she had no effect on them. As she began to flee, she was approached by another sentinel who deployed knockout spray on Jubilee, forcing her to pass out. She looked up as she began to lose consciousness and saw Henry Peter Gyrich looming above her. Wolverine attempted to follow her down, but her smell faded, and he went on to join the X-Men in their pursuit of her. Later, the X-Men were eventually able to locate and rescue Jubilee. At the Mutant Control Agency headquarters in Detroit, Michigan, Guy Rich, who was a government agent of the Mutant Control Agency, interviewed Jubilee to discover more about the X-Men. The Time When Jubilee Turned Into a Vampire Jubilee returned to the West Coast after departing the New Warriors, this time to San Francisco, which is where the X-Men had relocated following the collapse of the Xavier Institute. Jubilee had kept in touch with many of the future generation pupils, and she had spoken with a handful of them on Fisherman's Wharf. Jubilee was kept up to speed on the state of the new land of Utopia, which served as a new residence for the surviving mutants on Earth. When she was invited on their journey to Utopia alongside them, Jubilee declined, citing the fact that she was no longer a mutant. However, she had a letter given to Wolverine in which she simply stated that she wished he was there. A vampiric terrorist bomber burst nearby when Pixie and Jubilee were hanging out around Union Square, covering the area and Jubilee in blood. Dr. Nemesis later learned on Utopia that Jubilee had sadly been contaminated with vampire blood, which would progressively overwhelm her. She eventually succumbed to hypnotic persuasion and escaped to her masters. Jubilee became a vampire after being wounded by Zarus, Dracula's son. Wolverine pursued her, and Zarus utilized Jubilee as a lure to entice him. Jubilee transformed Wolverine, and he commanded the vampire army that invaded Utopia. Cyclops had braced for this catastrophe and had Nemesis inject nanites into Wolverine's blood. Jubilee was placed into the X-Men's custody and placed in a cell after Dracula murdered Zarus, which allowed the X-Men to vanquish the vampire army. While Laura was in Paris, Jubilee, Wolverine, and Gambit temporarily joined forces with X-23. Jubilee assisted Laura in coping with sadness, and the two developed a close connection. She was eventually accepted as a pupil by the Forgiven, a society of vampires who had learned to transcend their thirst for blood and were able to wander around during the day. Jubilee fought Black Widow during the first skirmish of the Avengers vs. X-Men clash on the beach of Utopia. Jubilee, now a young woman, discovered a newborn boy on his own in Budapest. She gave him the name Shogo and returned him to the Jean Grey School, where she reconnected with her X-Men friends, including Kitty Pride, Psylocke, Rachel Summers, Rogue, and Storm. When Jubilee and her X-Men comrades Bling, Cypher, Helion, Karima, Mercury, and Pixie battled Sentinels on Santa Catalina Island, she was the field commander. 
Storm subsequently notified her that the adoptive paperwork had been approved, making Jubilee the legal mother of Shogo. Despite her additional responsibilities as a mom, Jubilee felt capable of serving as a guide to the young generation of pupils and told Kitty, the new headmaster at Xavier's, that she was enthusiastic about the role. John of Starsmore, her former colleague from the new Warriors and Generation X, assisted her in this monumental endeavor. When Jubilee and Jono found Monet St. Croix had fused with a sibling, Emplate, and was assaulting the students in the night to take their life force, they were reunited with yet another old partner. They were able to drive her away, but they decided to impose curfews on the kids and begin conducting surveillance rounds to avoid repeat attacks. Jubilee and Jono were romantically connected after bonding while on their surveillance sessions and escapades with Shogo and their students. When Monet eventually assaulted the school again, this time during the day, she snatched the pendant Jubilee was wearing as sun protection and flung her out of the window. When Quentin Quire saw this, he sacrificed a part of the Phoenix Force he kept inside him to heal her from her vampirism and re-establish her natural powers. This allowed her to fight Monet and buy her pupils enough time to devise a way to liberate her from Marius's influence. Ignore her. She's just a little girl. A little girl? What makes Jubilee so powerful? Jubilee is a mutant with the power to generate and project plasma-like energy from her hands and fingertips. This energy appears as bright, sparkling fireworks. It can be used for a variety of purposes, including energy projection, energy absorption, flight, healing, and energy detection. Jubilee's energy projection ability allows her to generate and release blasts of energy from her fingertips, which can be used for offensive or defensive purposes. She can control the intensity and direction of these blasts, allowing her to target specific objects or enemies. For example, she can create a small burst of energy to stun an enemy or a more significant blast to destroy a piece of machinery. Jubilee can also use her energy projection ability to create force fields or shields, protecting herself or others from harm. In addition to energy projection, Jubilee can also absorb energy from other sources, such as electricity or radiation, and channel it into her own powers. This allows her to increase the strength and duration of her energy projections, making them more powerful and longer-lasting. Jubilee can absorb energy from any source, as long as it's in close proximity to her. This includes natural sources like lightning or man-made sources like generators or electrical wires. Jubilee's energy projection ability also allows her to fly short distances or hover above the ground. By generating and releasing bursts of energy from her hands and feet, Jubilee can propel herself through the air, allowing her to reach high places or escape danger. She can also use her energy projection ability to slow her descent or cushion her landing, making her less vulnerable to injury. Jubilee's energy projection ability also has a limited healing aspect, allowing her to use her energy to repair or regenerate damaged tissue or organs. She's not as skilled in this aspect as some other mutants, but she can use her power to heal minor injuries or ailments. For example, she can use her energy to close wounds, reduce inflammation, or boost the immune system. Finally, Jubilee has the ability to sense and locate sources of energy, including other mutants and powered objects. This allows her to detect the presence of other mutants or energy sources, even if they're hidden or disguised. She can use the ability to track enemies or locate hidden objects. She's agile and quick on her feet, making her a formidable opponent in close combat. She's also a skilled acrobat and hand-to-hand -hand combatant thanks to her training with the X-Men. In addition to her physical abilities, Jubilee is also highly intelligent and resourceful with a quick wit and a strong sense of loyalty to her friends and allies. The friends of humanity who needs enemies. Why did Jubilee never get a proper story in the X-Men movies? Jubilee has never had a prominent role in the X-Men film series. She made brief appearances in the first three X-Men films, played by actress Katrina Flores, but had very little screen time and didn't play a significant role in the plot. It's not uncommon for minor or supporting characters from comic books to be left out of adaptations or given limited screen time, as filmmakers often have to make decisions about which characters to prioritize in order to tell the most cohesive and compelling story. Jubilee's lack of a prominent role in the X-Men movies could be due to a variety of factors. In the case of the X-Men film series, the focus was mainly on the main characters, such as Professor X, Wolverine, and Rogue, with the other characters serving more as supporting players. It's possible that Jubilee simply didn't fit into the overall narrative arc of the films, or that the filmmakers felt that her character wasn't essential to the story as others. It's also worth noting that Jubilee is not as well known or iconic as some of the more famous X-Men characters and may not have had as much name recognition with casual fans of the series. This could have played a role in the decision to give her a minor role in the films. 
Another reason could be that the filmmakers wanted to focus on other characters and their storylines, and Jubilee's character arc may not have fit into the overall narrative of the films. Additionally, the filmmakers may have felt that Jubilee's powers and abilities were not visually interesting enough to warrant a significant role in the movies. It's also possible that the filmmakers simply didn't feel that Jubilee's character added enough value to the story and chose to prioritize other characters instead. It's worth noting that the X-Men movies have a large cast of characters, and not every character is able to have a fully developed arc in each film. In some cases, characters are included in the movies primarily for their iconic status or to pay homage to the source material rather than playing a central role in the story. Overall, there is likely a combination of factors that contributed to Jubilee not having a more prominent role in the X-Men film series. While it's always disappointing when a fan-favorite character doesn't get the spotlight they deserve, it's important to remember that these decisions are often made for creative and logistical reasons and are not a reflection of the character's importance or popularity. Ultimately, the decision to give a character a prominent role in a movie is often a creative one and a variety of factors can influence it. Jubilee is a fan-favorite character within the X-Men franchise, with a rich and complex history. Despite not having a prominent role in the X-Men movies, Jubilee has made appearances in various other X-Men media, including animated series and video games, where she's been able to showcase her unique powers and abilities. Her ability to generate explosive plasma blasts combined with her acrobatic skills make her a formidable ally to the X-Men. In addition to her combat abilities, Jubilee is known for her sharp, wit, and playful personality, which have endeared her to fans of the franchise. While it's unfortunate that Jubilee hasn't had a more developed story arc in the movies, her character remains an essential and iconic member of the X-Men team. It's hoped that Jubilee will continue to be featured in future X-Men projects, where she can fully showcase her abilities and continue to be a valuable member of the team. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one! and be safe. Thanks everyone.